Aloha, aloha, aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Wherever in the world you're tuning in from, my name is Master Paul, and I am very honored to connect with you today. I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Jigong Sha, and it is through Dr. And Master Sha that I'm able to offer these live streams every day. He has empowered me with very ancient and sacred wisdom and teachings that have helped transform not only my life, but literally hundreds of thousands of people's lives around the world. And so it is my deepest honor to be able to be present today to assist you with deeper understandings and comprehensions of the wisdom that he brings, as well as blessings through the different power for healing and transforming our life that he puts into different uh, objects, things, and including my own soul has received healing abilities. So it is my greatest honor to offer these uh, ways in which I can serve you today. So today is the 30th of the month of September. <clears throat> today is also the 10th day of the 10 Das. And for uh, today is the greatest enlightenment. Each of the last 10 days on Monday through Friday, not the weekends, I have been offering wisdom, teachings, and blessings through Dr. and Master Shah's newest book called Soul Over Matter. And I have been reading from this book a page or two, and then offering wisdom, teachings, and blessings. So for anybody that's watching this for the first time, then if you miss the other nine days of the 10 days of Ten Da, please go to my Facebook page, click under the main caption picture, look for the word about, click on that, and then scroll down and you'll see the previous videos. So I want to acknowledge and welcome everybody who's coming online. I see Ankisha and Leone, uh, Kristen Rojas, Elizabeth Folk, and Esther has joined us. I see Stephanie has joined us, uh, Monica, lots of beautiful hearts flying around. And there's probably a few more whose names I haven't seen pop up yet, but I'm very pleased to see you here today. I love you all so much. This has been truly as healing for me as it has been for you. Um, one of the reasons why is because it gives me an opportunity to deeply understand the teachings in this newest book much better than the initial cursory reading. Uh, a second is because it gives me a deep understanding of each of the ten das. Really, uh, I, I have to say I did not have the deep understanding I do now if it wasn't for these ten days that we have been working because uh, of the flows. Every, every one of the days I have um, connected with the soul of one of the ten das to receive a soul reading. And when I go back and I look at, at the wisdom that was taught, I, I'm always <laughs> uplifted and in this case enlightened a bit. So truly just as valuable for me as it has been for you. <clears throat> um, every one of the live streams I hope is bringing value to you. And the greatest way to to um, acknowledge that is to make sure you, you share with others because we want to be able to awaken other people's lives. There's a lot of people out there suffering. I'm always quite surprised actually at how many people are suffering physically, emotionally, mentally, uh, in relationships. And soul healing is, is a solution. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. That's the reason why I chose to educate myself in this nine years ago. I paid many thousands of dollars to receive higher levels of education, including higher healing abilities and the ability to teach you and share with you what I am now. Um, and I am so grateful for that, um, that investment because soul healing, it, it, and from my humble perspective, is the healing of the entire future because everyone and everything has a soul. And when you heal at that level, there's nothing that can't be transformed. I say that from a, a knowingness because I've witnessed the application of, of these teachings in every aspect of my life and there's not one aspect that hasn't changed to the positive. So the more you know, the more you know, I encourage you to continue to invest your time and efforts in understanding more about soul healing. So I want to continue to welcome uh, Carol and um, Linda Jensen, welcome. Patricia Dickinson has joined us. Heilun from the other side of the world has joined us. Chrissy, good to see you, Chrissy. Felix has joined us, and then Pat. And um, I'm sure a few others have chimed in there. I don't see your names pop up yet. 
so I'm, I'm kind of sad in that today is the last day of the 10 Das, but um, in many ways, you know, it's not something that you want to uh, uh, recapitulate too much. You want to offer that service, it will always be there in the recordings, and as I get my blogs up and running, I'll repost those out there on the net for other people to see in, in the right times. So let us connect heart to heart and soul to soul <coughs> uh, with the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony. So place your hands in the Soul Light Soul Service hand position, which is like a, a prayer position. But the left hand drops in front of your heart center. Let us close our eyes and let us connect. Dear Divine, Dear Tao, Dear Source, Dear Creator, all layers of all committees, Dear Heaven, Dear all masters, ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, angels, healing angels, archangels, we love you, love you, love you. We thank you, thank you, thank you. And we invite you to be with us here today. Dear the soul of our individual, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, love you, honor you, appreciate you. Thank you for being in our life. Thank you for guiding our soul journey. Thank you for nudging us left and right so that we stay on the path. Thank you for everything you do for us. We deeply are appreciative to our Heavens teams. Dear the Source Soul Song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please turn on in all souls as we chant love, peace, and harmony. Please bless us to join hearts and souls together allow us to serve at the highest levels possible. Please bless us today to receive the highest wisdom possible through the greatest enlightenment, Da Yuan Man. So for those who don't know, so know the song, close your eyes, receive the blessings. Everybody else, please chant with me. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in harling. Oh, I trun redly. Wong li hing rong, her mu shir shang, shang ai ping an a shi, shang ai ping an a shi. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony lula lula li lula lula la li I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. 
So I have to do a solo operation from my phone and the internet connection so that it clears blockages so that when I'm talking to you, you can actually hear me without blockages. And clear the blockages in the internet connection, clear the blockages in the phone. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all for joining. The cell phone connection will catch up shortly. Hopefully it will be a good connection. Please everybody hit the share button. Let other people know about this live streaming. Thank you Angie. Thank you Johnny for joining. Kayla Darling and family. Welcome Norma. Welcome Ilana. Thank you for the beautiful comments. I'm so happy that these are serving you in your soul journey. Um, I hope that you have an opportunity to go to my previous videos to see the other uh, 10 days of the 10 Da's. Um, very powerful series of teachings. So honored that heaven gave me that message. I truly don't know from day to day or week to week what I will be offering teaching wisdom and blessings on. Uh, and so next week, I don't know. This weekend I'm moving physical locations from the home I've been in for eight years to a new location. So I hope that will work out. Uh, I might have some guidance and insights and come Monday I'll be sharing some of those with you. So we'll find out. But today is the final day of the 10 days of the 10 Da's. So welcome Melissa, welcome Jean Wood, and welcome Sineo. Sineo. Great to see you. So um, on the 10 days of the 10 Da's, they have all been very significant to us. For those that are new were, uh, Da I, greatest love. Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. This is in the order of the 10. Da uh, da Tzu Bei, greatest compassion. Da Guang Ming, greatest light. Um, and then we have Da Chen Bei, greatest, com, uh, greatest humility. Da He She, greatest harmony. Da, um, da greatest flourishing. Da uh, Chang Sheng, Da Chang Sheng. And then Da Gan In, greatest gratitude. Yesterday was greatest service, which is Da Fu Wu. Today is the tenth Da, greatest enlightenment. Da Yuan Man. I want to speak a little bit about enlightenment. Before I didn't understand it, now I have a better understanding. I certainly can't say I understand it. I have a better understanding. The word enlightenment um, has always escaped me. Uh, until I met Master Shaw, it was completely just a word that meant something that was pretty much an impossibility from my perspective. Enlightenment, what the only association visually I could uh, associate it with was like Buddha or Jesus. Um, and what prior to meeting Master Shaw, my understanding was is that it meant that you were above it all. When I went to a retreat with Master Shaw, he called it a soul enlightenment retreat. And the only reason I went was because I saw him doing some miracle healing and I read, read a book and my soul was touched. So I'm like, I'm going to see what this guy is all about. This is nine years ago. So I went to a soul enlightenment retreat in uh, the big island of Hawaii. And it was a seven day retreat. And I was beyond blown away. If you've ever met Master Shah, you understand what I mean by that. But I was just beyond blown away. And um, I had never in my life bowed down to the ground. I was bowing down to heaven for the incredible opportunity to be with this, this master. Um, and he explained what enlightenment was. Enlightenment, according to what, what my teacher has taught, there's three kinds of enlightenment. There is, there is um, soul enlightenment, soul enlightenment. There is mind enlightenment. There is body enlightenment. Soul enlightenment, he explains, is when the soul moves through the uh, seven soul houses or chakras on its way to the top up here where it reaches its final level of enlightenment. That a soul actually becomes enlightened when it sits in the heart center. And an enlightenment can actually be lost. So in other words, somebody can do a great service, many, many great services, and um, accordingly their soul standing increases until their soul sits in their heart center and it can go higher, 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 higher. So to, just to go from the, the lower centers to the heart center could take hundreds, possibly many hundreds of lifetimes to accomplish. And you have to do excellent service in those lifetimes. It takes that much good virtue to bring the soul into the heart center. 
according to his soul reading, Master Shah's soul reading, about 15% of humanity heart, uh, soul rests in the heart center. About 85% of humanity's soul is not enlightened yet. They are still in the lower energy center, still stuck in the, in the humdrum of the world. He explains that mind enlightenment, much harder. He says it is literally easier to move a mountain than for the mind to become enlightened. And what does he mean by that? He means that to move a mountain can be easier than changing our mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, and attachments. What does the Buddha teach? He teaches us that when we can conquer all these things by being you know, completely present to them but having no attachment to them, then we've reached mind enlightenment. Very difficult to achieve. That's the second level of enlightenment. The third one he teaches is called body enlightenment. He says even harder. What is body enlightenment? To the best of my understanding, based on his teachings, every cell, every energy, every piece of matter in our body is pure light. We can disappear, reappear somebody else, someplace else. We can disappear, go up to heaven, talk to God for a while, hang out, come back down, reappear. Body enlightenment is we have total control over the Shen Qi Jing energy and matter of our physical presence. We can come, we can go, we don't need to be here in, on earth. We're part of the Wu world, as he would say. So those are the three types of enlightenment. Soul, uh, mind, and then body enlightenment. So what is greatest enlightenment? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to read from Master Shah's book right now. And I will read to you. If you have the book, it's on page, starts on page 121. <clears throat> and so I will read to you. Um, I suggest that you close your eyes to receive the information because it's always such great wisdom. Yuan Man means enlightenment. Da Yuan Man means greatest enlightenment. Four sacred phrases share wisdom of Da Yuan Man. Shi Dai Yuan Man, Ling Xin Nao Shen Yuan Man, Ren Di Tian Dao Shen Shang Ti, Fu Wu Xiao Liang Kai Ke Pan. These are the four sacred phrases. Shi Dai Fu Wu, excuse me, Shi Da Yuan Man. Shi means 10 or 10th. Da means greatest. Yuan Man means enlightenment. Shi Da Yuan Man means the 10th of the 10 Da soul over matter practices is greatest enlightenment. Every soul has its standing in heaven's layers. To reach soul enlightenment is to uplift one's soul to the level of a saint. So when you reach soul enlightenment, you're literally, in the heavenly realms, considered a saint. To reach mind enlightenment is to uplift one's consciousness, the consciousness, to the level of a saint. To reach heart enlightenment is to uplift one's heart to the level of a saint. To reach mind enlightenment is to, is to uplift one's consciousness to the level of a saint. To reach body enlightenment is to develop a pure light body and live a long, healthy life. A human being has two lives, a physical life and a soul journey, a soul life. The physical life is limited. The soul journey is eternal. Having flourishing Finances and successful business is only one aspect of one's physical life and one's physical journey. There are many other aspects such as health, relationships, uh, finances, and the successful business. It, um, there are many aspects, health, relationship, and intelligence, but ultimately the purpose of the physical journey, this is important, ultimately the purpose of the physical journey is to serve the soul journey. This is the greatest wisdom that many spiritual seekers are truly searching for. Many people have not realized this wisdom and practice. So, uh, welcome Crystal, welcome Elizabeth, uh, welcome Jennifer, welcome Yvonne, and welcome Suki. Why do we need financial flourishing? The more flourishing we have, the more we can serve humanity, heaven and Mother Earth. The more service we can give, the more our soul journey can advance. What did we say? How do you raise your soul standing? Service. That increases our ability to impact our soul journey. What's our physical? Why are we here? To serve our soul journey. 
So the more service we give, the more our soul journey can advance. To uplift our soul, heart, mind to the level of a saint is to be a better servant. Think about holy saints such as Jesus, Mary, Buddha, like Shirjamoni Fo, which is the Chinese name of the Siddhartha Gautama, the historical Buddha, Amitofu, which is Amitabha in Sanskrit, and Kuan Yin, known as the Bodhisattva of Compassion, and many other saints in different traditions. Millions of people study and respect, honor them because they are the greatest servants to humanity, heaven and Mother Earth. In one sentence, the physical life is to serve the soul journey in order to reach the greatest enlightenment. So now, here are the four phrases. Uh, this is the second phrase. Ling Xin Nao Xin Yuan Man. Ling means soul. Xin means heart. Nao means consciousness. Shen, Shen, S-H-E-N, means body. Yuan Man means enlightenment. Ling Xin Nao Xin Yuan Man means soul, heart, mind, body, enlightenment. Complete enlightenment includes enlightenment of the Jing, Qi, Shen. Shen enlightenment includes soul enlightenment, heart enlightenment, and mind enlightenment. Jing is matter. Qi is energy. You think about it, Qi Gong, Tai Chi, that's energy. Jing is matter, Qi is energy. Enlightenment combined our body enlightenment. So when we enlighten our Jing, which is our matter, we enlighten our energy, the Qi, combined, that creates body enlightenment. The next phrase, Ren Di Tian Dao Xin Xiang Ti. Ren means human being, Di means Mother Earth, Tian means heaven. Ren Di Tian, uh, human being, Mother Earth, heaven. Dao is the source, the creator. Shen Xiang means saint or heavenly being, and Ti means stairs. So this phrase, Ren Di Tian Dao Shen Xiang Ti, means there are stairs to go to heaven and the Tao source. These stairs represent the steps of the soul journey for human beings, Mother Earth, Heaven, and Tao Source. On the soul journey, every soul wishes to be uplifted more and more and more, to climb Heaven's stairs and to reach the greatest enlightenment of soul, heart, mind, and body. To reach enlightenment, which is to have your soul reach the level of a saint, is a blessing beyond comprehension for one's soul's journey. There are four major layers of saints. There is the human saints, which is the lowest layer. There is Mother Earth saints. There is Heaven saints. And then there is Tao saints, which is the highest. To be uplifted to a human saint, then a Mother Earth saint, next a Heaven saint, and finally a Tao saint is to climb Heaven's stairs. The only way one can be uplifted to these layers is by offering unconditional service. Now, I want to take just a moment and talk about Tao. What is the Tao? People, when they hear that word, if they're not familiar with Master Shah's teachings, instantly associate it with Taoism or a religion. Tao in Master Shah's teachings is zero religion. It means the natural way of all life. Tao means original creator, original source of everything. Okay? So that's what is meant by Tao. It's not a religion. It's not. Um, it's it's a it's a word that truly can't be defined. But if you were trying to give any definition to it, it would be that which is natural and creator of all things. Okay. So that should help you a little bit if you have any mind blockages around that information. Okay. So the fourth phrase, Fu Wu Xu Lian Kai Ke Pan. Fu Wu means service. Xu means uh, purification of Jing, Qi, and Shen. Remember, Jing, Qi, Shen. Jing, matter. Qi, energy. Shen is soul, heart, and mind. So purification of energy, matter, soul, heart, mind. Lian means practice. Kai means enable. Ke means that you can. And Pan means climb. So what does all that mean? It means through service one can climb the stairs of Ren Di Tian Dao, which is Heaven, Mother, Earth, and, and uh, the Dao. So the four sacred phrases can be summarized as 
the tenth of the ten da soul over matter practices is the greatest enlightenment. Soul, heart, mind, body enlightenment. Steps to reach different layers of saints. Our human beings, uh, Mother Earth saints, Heaven saints, and Tao Source saints. And then the final phrase, only through service and purification of soul, heart, mind, and body can one climb the heaven stairs to reach the saint level of human being, Mother Earth, Heaven, and Tao Source. So those are the distinct meanings of those four sacred phrases. Tao Yuan Man, which translates to greatest enlightenment, includes financial flourishing, but it goes far beyond that. Tao Yuan Man is fulfill one's physical life and one's spiritual journey. Every aspect of being and every aspect of life will then flourish. This is the biggest possible achievement of a human being. Let us do the ten and final Da Soul Over Matter practice now to empower you to bring forth the greatest enlightenment. So this is from the book Soul Over Matter, uh, bestseller across the board and all the major um, registrars out there. And we're going to do a practice for anybody that's new that just came on for opening our heart and soul and aligning our soul, heart, mind, and body, our soul journey to heaven. Uh, we do that through the four powers. The first power is one hand over the heart center, the other one over your lower abdomen. This is called body power. The second power is soul power. Soul power is to say hello to the inner souls and the outer souls. So repeat after me. Dear soul, mind, and body of myself, I love you, I honor you, and I deeply appreciate you. You have the power to serve our financial flourishing. You have the power to fulfill our spiritual journeys. You have the power to serve unconditionally. Do a great job. Thank you. Now we say hello to the outer souls. Dear Source, dear Heaven and Mother Earth, dear all saints in Heaven and Mother Earth, dear Da Yuan Man, the greatest enlightenment, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please bless me. Please bless my physical team members and my financial abundance. Please bless our enlightenment journeys. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So for mind power, remember one hand on your heart center, one hand on your lower abdomen. For your mind power, you're going to visualize in your heart center golden or rainbow light shining on your finances, shining on your business, uplifting your soul's journey. See your soul sitting in your heart center. The mantra is Da Yuan Man, and I will be uh, using that mantra to serve you. I will be using this calligraphy card. This is the tenth of the ten Da cards called Da Yuan Man, Greatest Enlightenment. It has a 900 frequency uh, in it, and this frequency is, for those that are new, is just slightly higher than the Buddha frequency, so it will serve you quite well. Close your eyes. Place your hands, one over the heart, one over the lower abdomen. Prepare to receive. <coughs> Do the countless blessings, divine Tao Source, all the holy beings in this calligraphy card. Love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you. Please come out. Please offer your blessings to everyone on this video, everybody who watches this in the future. Bless them to reach their highest level of enlightenment as possible in this soul journey in whatever way is most appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Da Yuan Man, Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment, greatest enlightenment. Da Yuan Man. Greatest enlightenment, Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Dear Divine Thou and Source, 
Thank you for enlightening me. Thank you for clearing my blockages, negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. Dayuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Dayuan Man, <coughs> greatest enlightenment. Dear Divine Thou and Source, please open my heart and soul. Bless my soul journey, forgive my big mistakes. Dear all souls, please forgive me. If I have taught you wrong teachings, if I have harmed your soul journey, Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. I want you to visualize your soul sitting in your heart center. See your soul bowing down to the Divine Creator, asking for soul journey guidance and blessings, asking for forgiveness. If in this lifetime or any lifetime you have taught wrong thinking, wrong mindsets, attitudes, wrong beliefs, any beliefs that teach separatism, any beliefs that teach that you or that teaching is the only right teaching. Ask for forgiveness for any, from anyone in any lifetime that you might have steered off of their correct spiritual journey. Da you on man, greatest enlightenment. Da you on man, greatest enlightenment. Dear my mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, you have the ability to transform, to release mind blockages. You have the ability to think love, to offer unconditional service, to release negative thinking, to be loving and considerate. Da you on man, greatest enlightenment. Da you on man, greatest enlightenment. Dear the countless saints, dear the saints animals, in Da you on man, special calligraphy. Please bless my soul. Please heal my heart. Please bring me enlightenment. Please release me of pain. Dayuan Man, <coughs> greatest enlightenment. Dayuan Man, Greatest enlightenment. Dear Divine Thou and Source, please forgive me for going against the mission of love, peace, and harmony. 
I forgive myself, I do not remember, but I know I have suffered, please forgive me. Dear Divine Tao and Source, Dear Beloved Master Jesus, Please forgive me for my lack of service. Dear Divine Tao and Source, Dear Lord Buddha, Please forgive me for my lack of service. Dear Humanity, Please forgive me for my lack of enlightenment, for my selfishness. Dear Divine Thou and Source, please bless me. Enlighten my soul, mind and body. Release negativity. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. <coughs> Dear Mother Mary, Dear all healing angels, please bless my soul journey. Please bless my heart to love. Dear Mother Mary, please bless my, mo my mother and father. Please bless my family to enlighten our soul journeys. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Dear all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Dear all saints, saint animals, please bless my soul journey. Please enlighten my heart. Please enlighten my mind and body. Please clear my blockages. Bless me to see clearly. Bless me to release selfishness. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Dear Kuan Yin, Buddha of compassion, Please open my heart and soul. Bless me to reach enlightenment. Dear beloved Guan Yin, please release my negative thinking. Please open my heart and soul. Bless me to release blockages. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Dear the soul of the ten das, greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest compassion, greatest light. Greatest humility, greatest harmony. Greatest flourishing, greatest gratitude. 
greatest service. Please bless my enlightenment. Open my heart and soul. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment. <clears throat> Continue to chant Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment, as I offer a flow. Hey, 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 How this is your beloved divine. You are all my greatest love. You are all my greatest light. You are all my greatest flourishing. You are all my greatest compassion. You are all my greatest gratitude. You are all my greatest forgiveness. You are all my greatest humility. You are all my greatest harmony. You are all my greatest service. And you are all my greatest enlightenment. How can you be this, you say? I hear your thinking. You feel that you are less, that it is not possible that we can be my your greatest it is nonetheless the truth I love you each of you with every ounce of my creation unconditionally is this so difficult to comprehend is it so difficult to truly receive? Why can you not receive my love for you? It is very simple. Your heart is not open enough to recognize the love that is always present and always in you, around you, with you coerces through your veins my love is your love your love is my love any lack has been created by conditions not of my doing any teachings of a lack of love to you or conditional love is not of my teaching what is greatest enlightenment but the understanding of this most simple truth that everyone and everything including all of you every emotion every experience every judgment every self-criticism everything you have ever experienced in your universe unique and very special life is truly completely perfect in my heart I have no judgment but only love for each of you and those who have not understand this most simple truth I have given these ten das to your beloved spiritual father Master Shah, that humanity can have a stairway to heaven, so to speak. Each of these ten virtues, when practiced in your life, 
bring to you the Shen, Qi, and Jing of my original creation. They naturally self-clear all those things that keep you separate from the purity that I and you already are. It is in the practicing, it is in the constant vigilance of your mind, of your words, of your thoughts, of your actions, that you can move towards me or away from me. Regardless, my love for you is unequivocal and unconditional. But I give you this message so that you know how you can reach the greatest enlightenment with the most speed, with the most love. Know that I am in you and with you in all times, and in any moment you can be with me. It is my greatest honor, my beloved children, to share this wisdom with you. My encouragement is to listen again and again until your heart opens and you can truly feel my love for you as the unconditionalness that it has always been. This is your beloved Divine. How? I bow my head to the Divine. You may do however you wish. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Okay, that was pretty powerful, huh? Thank you, Divine, for that incredible flow, for that incredible message, for that incredible love. It's always a, 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 such a huge blessing when these souls borrow my mouth because I get to feel that love. I get to feel um, everything that's coming through. So it's, it's a huge blessing for me. <clears throat> so thank you all. Welcome, Lynn. Welcome, Hans. Great to see you. Welcome, um, Sharon and Brenda. And uh, everybody else, I haven't acknowledged. Shakira, Judas, wonderful to see you all. Sorry I hadn't acknowledged you earlier. I was busy serving. Um, so please share whatever your experience might have been. Did you notice anything in your third eye? Did you see anything? Um, did your heart open more? Did you have emotions that have been blocked for a while? Any insights, aha moments, a greater understanding of what the greatest enlightenment is? Sharing is virtue. You share, somebody reads it, if their heart is moved, heaven opens up your virtue bank, drops virtue and flowers into your bank because you shared. What a great thing, isn't it? All these ten da's, we serve others, we get flowers. We think about, we think about serving others, we get flowers. We avoid saying negative things, we get flowers. Ah, so simple. How do you reach enlightenment? Just be smart, right? So. The Ten Das are such powerful teachings. It has been one of the greatest blessings of my life to be able to teach these each of these ten days. For those that are newer and they'd like to see the other uh, nine Das, you would go to my Facebook page. Kristen has listed somewhere in here how to find it. But you can go to my Facebook page, click on the About button and scroll down to videos and you'll see the past videos there. I tell you, it would be wise if you have the time because each day I offer huge blessings and insights from one of the ten Da souls. I've learned a lot and, uh, and the blessings are pretty extraordinary, I have to say. So um, while I'm waiting for the comments to come, I'm going to <coughs> um, re-mention a few things. Uh, today, we'll, uh, uh, yeah, today and this weekend, if you're interested in receiving the financial flourishing blessings, um, I will be offering Give me a moment to read these. I'll be using, uh, the Master Shah has created two very, very special calligraphies. And, and they are um, in this special calligraphy book that only a few people have. And I'm blessed to be one of the Divine Channels that has this. And so I will do very special tracing for you uh, for these calligraphies to serve your soul journey, to serve your financial flourishing. These are the names of the calligraphies. Um, Zai Pei Ci Hui, which translates to Dao Source Cultivates and Bestows uh, Wisdom, Intelligence, no, that's not the right one. Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. Dao Ying Fu. 
Tao Source bestows huge proster prosperity, luck, and success. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to put my own name on this list. <laughs> Tao Source bestows huge prosperity, luck, and success. And then the other calligraphy I will trace for you is um, Tao Career Flourishes, which is for your soul journey. It basically will clear lots of blockages, open your heart, help you to be more passionate and more loving. Those, those blockages with people, they just kind of melt. So both are hand in hand because if you have blockages in your soul journey, it blocks your finances. If you have blockages in your finances, you, you are always in emotional and mental trauma so you can't move forward on your soul journey. That's why I'm doing both of them together. Um, the honor fee, if you're interested, is $25 per day. I will do it for three days and I will initiate it on Monday. So if you're interested, just email me um, ASOUL healer.com a soul healer I, I heal souls I'm a soul healer a soul healer at yahoo.com pretty simple it's also my website a soul healer.com and then the other thing is uh, the crown chakra blessings uh, are getting some some rave reviews they're getting some huge results each of the 10 days greatest love compassion forgiveness light uh, humility whatever your blockage area is service whatever it is you can receive a crown chakra blessing to assist in, in clearing the blockages heaven opens up massive light comes in lots and lots and lots of darkness leaves and your soul journey is blessed forever um, when I did a soul reading on it before the average number of lifetimes if you were a saint and you chanted on a mountain to serve humanity six hours a day for 60 years that's called one lifetime of excellent service. You would have to do 10 lifetimes to receive the equivalent of one crown chakra blessing. Um, so if that's adventurous to you, you want to save yourself a little bit of time chanting on a mountain, you might want to look into that. The, the crown chakra blessings have an honor fee of 100 uh, per whichever one you're interested in. So I'm going to read some of the comments now. Um, and I appreciate your comments, guys. Uh, Sainio says... So I have to learn how to say your name, Sanayo. I think that's correct. Uh, wow, this was amazing. I am in the Hunden, which means lost in the etheric world. I saw my soul and divine in more blessings, countless bow downs. Um, and then Ruki, Ru, Ruchika, thank you for joining Ruchika. Sorry I didn't acknowledge you earlier. Uh, thank you for delivering the message. High vibrations, that's what I was looking for. All the blockages are cleared, and I came back to the light of Jesus. Your singing helped me. Uh, clearing her uh, clearing her reality doubts regarding her soul journey yay thank you heaven thank you for helping bless our beloved Ruchika and then Felix you know I feel light and good <clears throat> I feel better than at the beginning of the practice awesome welcome Dove Monica says me and the ancestors are deeply moved by your show and your heart and your greatest service thank you Master Shah yes thank you Master Shah divine down source uh, for all their love to the children, etc. Melissa, she was feeling exhausted before she started viewing these. Now she feels more awake, refreshed, and inspired. Yay! I feel like her heart has opened. I tell you, there's a lot of power in these calligraphy cards. People don't understand. These are huge. Uh, so blessed that Master Shah has brought this power to humanity. And then uh, thank you, Kristen, for posting um, the link to the videos. Monica, heart feels at peace beyond words. Leone, dear Master Paul, thank you so much for your powerful blessings. Beautiful heart-touching flows. Thank you, Divine, for that incredible flow. Um, and thank you for this message, Divine. I have felt much transformation from the Tenda series. Uh, extremely generous service and virtue. Thank you, Heaven. Thank you, Master Shah, for this incredible opportunity to serve. It's, uh, it's been good for me. Um, so, Felix, uh, talking to Oliver and Nurma, acknowledging them. Thank you, Kristen, for posting my uh, Facebook page. And then Ankisha, beloved Master Paul, it's so hard to describe the emotions that I felt right now. I'm overwhelmed with love and tears. Wow, this practice has been immensely powerful. Yay, so happy. And then Johnny says, wow, a major shift of my emotional body from anxiety to a more joyful state. Got goosebumps. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you, everyone. It has been a true pleasure to offer these 10 days of the 10 Das. Um, I'm not sure, again, what I'll be doing on Monday. Uh, with this busy weekend, I might get some very big insights and aha moments. Um, it can be stressful to move from one place to another. 
Uh, I just went to my new place this morning and I realized that the table that I bought is way too big for this place. And so now I have to go back to Craigslist and sell it and try to get something smaller. So all these little things that'll be challenging, maybe I'll get some guidance, wisdom and insights around tolerance and patience and those things we all need more of. So. Um, I want to acknowledge everybody for coming. If I didn't mention your name, please forgive me. I did not see your comments. Uh, and as Master Shah would say, more virtue to you. So let us thank heaven. Thank you, divine. Thank you, Tao and Source. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, treasures, healing angels, archangels, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints. Thank you, Buddha, bodhisattvas, Kuan Yin. Thank you, beloved Jesus. Thank you, Mother Mary. All of our heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we thank you all for your unconditional, incredible service to us. We thank the soul of each of the ten das for your incredible service. We thank the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, treasures, transmitted like a portal in all of these calligraphies transmitted to them to serve humanity. We thank you for your offering, your unconditional service to help all of us. We can never bow down enough. We thank the countless souls that have left us through all of our forgiveness practices and through the blessings of Master Shah and his worldwide representatives. We can truly never bow down enough to all the souls that have left us so that we no longer have to suffer. For all those that do not want to leave yet, we understand, we will continue to serve, we will continue to ask for forgiveness, we will earn the right for you to leave so that we can have a much more flourishing and prosperous life. Email me or Facebook message me if I can serve you. I love you, love you, love you, and I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.